Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. So I'm going to apologize kind of right off the bat because this episode is going to be a little bit dark, I'm guessing. I'm going to do what I can in post-processing to brighten it up a little bit. But we're going to the Tomb of the Giants, which is just a, a prohibitively dark area for the most part. That's kind of its gimmick, and despite the fact that that sounds really annoying, I actually kind of like this area. Uh, one other thing that's worth noting is that you might have noticed I have no humanity and very few souls compared to where we were on the last video. Uh, my game actually froze uh, during my first recording attempt here, and when I respawned, I was back in the catacombs, which sucks dick. I had to go back through Bone Wheel Skeleton Hell. Oh god, don't kick me off the edge. And, uh, yeah, let's just put it this way. Things, I was not very happy with my, my 360 or my game by that point. Why are these guys taking so many hits to kill? Oh, right, because I don't have any humanity, so my, uh... Quaylog's Fury Sword is not doing very much damage, but if I can get to what I assume is my blood stain down here, we'll be fine. So we're going to be dealing with a lot of these skeletons and skeleton type creatures. Now a lot of these enormous skeletons and a lot of uh, skeleton dogs and a lot of slides. Wow, Great Chaos Fireball kills them in one hit. That's fantastic. Uh, I'm going to keep that out because I do think we have a group of two skeletons down here. Let's try to watch out. For oh, my blood stain is right on the slide. Oh, it's a little bit off from the slide. Okay, somehow he can't see me, but I can see him. That's gonna make my life a lot easier. And then his skeleton bro over here. We'll just, oh, he got me, but I got him as well. Fantastic. But I had to use like all of my goddamn Estus just getting uh, through the bone wheel skeleton part. Oh my god, I took a huge arrow. Like it doesn't look like it hit me. It looks like I caught it in between my arm and my uh, my torso. Let's Estus up again. We are getting pretty close to a bonfire, though, so we'll probably be safe fairly shortly. I can kindle, reverse hollowing if I wanted to. Okay. We're not going to talk to that asshole yet. Going to get down here. Do, 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 do. And we are going to stay human throughout this area. A lot of good reasons for that, but we do have an NPC invasion. So let's reverse hollowing. Which will cost us one, of course, one humanity. And then we'll kindle, which will give us another five Estus Flasks. Really important for this next area that we're about to conquer. Because Tomb of the Giants, for a lot of people, is one of the hardest areas in the game. I personally don't find it that bad. But I can see why people do get, uh, you know, a little bit hung up in this area. For one, like, it's super dark. And the enemies can be really annoying. Actually, I'm really lucky I have Pyromancy to help me out there. One thing I will do, uh, let's check out our items. I might just pop another Twin Humanity. Again, like, Twin Humanity is not that useful to me. This will at least give me some boost on my weapon. So now we're going to climb back up here. And... Let's talk to this guy. He looks pretty nice, right? Good day. Good day. You look reasonably sane. What are you doing in the catacombs? Are you a cleric or something? Definitely not a cleric. No. No qualms telling you. There's a fine stash of treasure right down that hole. I found it first, but well, we're friends now. So I'll split it with you. In any case, have a look. Have a look. It'll shimmer you blind. <laughs> Duh, well, that doesn't sound ominous at all, boss. You dick! <laughs> this is what I do, my friend. The trinkets I'll be stripping off your corpse, that's the real treasure. <laughs> All right, so Pat just kicks us down here. We do get some soul consumable items, which is nice. And there should be an NPC down here that'll... Oh, no, never mind. We get the Skull Lantern just from that. The Skull Lantern is the other light source that we could use. <clears throat> there should be another NPC down here. Who you might recognize from Firelink Shrine. You're no hollow, are you? Thank goodness. Please be careful. There are two fierce hollows not far from here. They were once brave knights. My former escorts. Who would let such strong spirits be hollowed so... Heavens, is there nothing, nothing at all to be done? 
All right, so that's Rhea and her companions from Firelink Shrine. I'm pretty sure I showed those, or maybe I didn't. Have gone hollow, so what we're going to do is basically just bash them in the face with Pyromancy. These guys are actually kind of difficult, especially if you uh, don't hit them properly. They do have some miracles that they cast, but largely they're uh, physical based. Oh, I hate that. Let's try to make sure, let's try to focus one down before we get on to the next one. There we go, that'll nearly kill him. Let's switch to Fire Orb. One more Fire Orb should be enough to take out uh, Axe Guy over here. You can see he hits like a ton of bricks, like my... Uh... Oh, I accidentally hit the wrong guy there. Again, uh, my shield doesn't actually block 100% of their damage, which is crazy. All right, there's... Oh, both of them died with one Fire Orb, that's great. Well, technically like three Fire Orbs, but okay. Now we'll talk to Rhea again, who was apparently oblivious to that combat that was happening like two seconds away from her. You banished those two hollows, did you? It pains me to think of the trouble my failings have caused. I am certain that both Vince and Nico are grateful to you. Thank you so very much. Here, these belonged to them. You deserve them more than I. So we pick up Replenishment Miracle. I actually wanted to try something. Cause I believe I've read online that if you use the Dark Hand on Rhea, you can actually steal some humanity from her and she won't get aggro, which would be fantastic. Let's try it out. Uh, of course, I might have to end up killing her right now, which would suck, but let's try it. Alright, that, that doesn't work. Maybe because she's sitting down, I can't hit her? Oh, there we go. Okay, now she's standing up. Let's steal her humanity. That doesn't do anything. Okay, well, we'll at least hear her dialogue here. Give me your humanity! That's all I want. I want you to stay alive, but I also want me to stay alive more, if that makes any sense. Alright, well, I am probably going to kill her if I keep doing this. So, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put back my Pyromancer's Flame. That was disappointing. I was hoping to show off something cool there. Instead, I ended up, like, almost killing one of the nicest NPCs in the game. Oh, well. Now, I always get a little bit lost in here. But there is a way out, if I could just remember where to go. There's, like, a ladder up or a, an illusory wall. I can't remember. Okay, we got these, like, skeleton tree things. These guys are pretty easy. <clears throat> they just fall on you and sometimes they like jut their arms out. Largely, <clears throat> largely I think we'll be okay. Try some fire orbs on them, that'll probably one shot them. And remember, I will just be going back to that bonfire right by where that douchebag kicked me into this hole. So I don't have to worry too much about losing my pyromancy. Alright, we're gonna climb up here. And I believe there is an illusory wall at the top of here. Which will allow me to, obviously, knock it down. You can just tell the walls just don't look right. There we go. And then we can go back, talk to Mr. Douchebag back here. First, I want to definitely use that bonfire. Because you never know what this guy's going to try on you. And I could actually, you know what, why not? Since I have two humanity, I should have done this before, actually. Let's uh, kindle this bonfire further. Oh god, I can't. That probably means I'm being invaded right now. Bring it on, motherfucker. I don't know where invaders spawn in Tomb of the Giants, but anyway, we'll continue our story of talking to this guy. I... Well, let's just calm down. Talk about things. I did you wrong, but I didn't mean it. These temptations, they can, well... Overcome me. You know what I mean, don't you? Please, forgive me. You and me, we're jolly undead outcasts, aren't we? So I will forgive him, but only because he'll become like an NPC shop owner in Firelink Shrine. Otherwise, I would murder his ass and take his humanity like a nobody's business. Oh, brilliant. A second chance. Wonderful. I had a feeling you'd understand. I did. But uh, if I were in your shoes... Who knows what I'd have done. But now we're friends again. Eh? <laughs> that laugh. 
I love how it patches with like the eagle shield and the spear or lightning spear. It might be a winged, winged spear. Uh, looks like 90% of the people that you invade in Anne Orlando. How about this bonfire? Is this, it looks restable now. Oh, touch summon sign. Why not? We'll try it out. 90 times out of uh, 100, it doesn't work. You could probably easily simplify that fraction, but oh well. We'll give this a second, see if it works. A lot of summon signs here today. That's crazy. I've never seen summon signs uh, this bonfire in the Tomb of the Giants before. But it'd be great to get some jolly cooperation in right now. Try summoning Nordy Hun too. Of course, I don't hold out a lot of hope for either of these. But this would be particularly good if we have uh, an invasion coming up. Because we get 3v1. But of course, I know that uh, I get your hopes up and then let you down constantly in this Let's Play. Because people just, uh, you know, can't be summoned. Summoning failed over and over and over. Which is probably what's happening with the uh, invasion right now as well. Because it does look like when your bonfire goes out, you see fog walls go up. Generally speaking, you are being invaded. But, what is summoning failed? What just fell off there? There must have been a bone. Alright, double summoning failed. Wait here for like two seconds, see if that bonfire rekindles. I would love to rest at that, or rekindle it, but I guess not. Alright, let's move on then. So we're just gonna follow this path down. Uh, the other reason I want to rest that bonfire is to get my goddamn pyromancy up. Okay, summoning failed, we'll check the bonfire again. Ah, there we go, we can rest at that for sure. Much better. Uh, let's kindle it as well, because we do have Rite of Kindling. So we can get up to 15 Estus Flasks. Uh, I believe we can get up to 20 Estus Flasks as well, but I've never had to go to 20 Estus Flasks, so... I think we're okay. And you know what? What use does Twin Humanities have if I don't use them? Let's pop it. And this way we'll do... even more damage with our Quaylog's Fury Sword than we were doing before. Could be cool. Now we could murder Patches, get some extra humanity, but we'll save that for a little bit later. Like I said, I have like 21 soft or uh, hard humanity right now, so I'm, I'm doing alright for myself. Now there's kind of a problem if I can't go through these fog walls. How am I going to progress? Could be a really serious problem, in fact. Okay, there's one guy dead. Those damn skeleton dogs are the worst, man. Hopefully we'll be able to pass through here. I can't recall if this is a normal fog wall or if this is just up because of the potential of invasion. Seems like a normal fog wall. Fantastic. <clears throat> Coming through here. I know I'm paranoid about invasions, but seriously, the potential to really knock you on your ass. So we're going to watch out for these arrows. There should be yeah, a skeleton dog over here. Oh, and uh, Black Knight. I didn't see that coming. Let's back up through the fog wall, actually. And, you know, do the smart thing and fight him on this tiny walkway. Should probably try to parry him, actually. There we go. That worked fantastically. Kind of didn't expect that, to be honest with you, because I don't fight uh, Black Knights with this weapon very often. As you can see, he just took off, like, half my health. Oh, and the arrow is still shooting at me. There we go. Maybe I can kick him off now. Oh, right, I can't kick with the Quaylog's Fury Sword. Oh, well. Oh, God, okay. Back up. I can't see where I'm going. Don't stab me in the back. That was a, that was a dick move. You're supposed to be honorable. You're supposed to restore balance to the force, not destroy it. If I'd been hit by that arrow, certainly would have died. Almost backed off the edge to my death. Probably going to get shot in the face with an arrow. Oh, God, Patches saved me. Patches, you're my only hope. Okay, he's back. And he should be dead. One more hit. There we go. That was not the uh, brave way to do things, but it's one way to do things. So now we'll come down here. I've completely forgotten where the fog wall was. Thank God we kindled that bonfire as high as it'll go. Let's wait in this little alcove for a second while I make sure my computer doesn't fall asleep. And then continue. Now, okay. There's the dog. We gotta watch out for the arrows though. <laughs> what did I tell you? One great chaos fireball is enough to kill the dog because he gets caught in the lava afterwards. We still got a dick 
Skeleton dog, I believe. And a giant archer. Okay, well, we should be able to kill the giant archer by ourselves. Without... Oh, God, I don't want to do that attack. Without using the... Uh, any more pyromancy. Because I would like to save that. Because you never know. It's pretty valuable here. Soul of a brave warrior. That's a, a soul consumable. A particularly good soul consumable. Take down the skeleton dog. Making my life pretty easy there. And what do we have down here? I've completely forgotten where we're going. I believe there are some... Items back here. Maybe like a... A shield? I think there's a shield back here. I've only done Tomb of the Giants uh, three or four times though, so I can't quite recall everything perfectly. Effigy shield, okay. Alright, Tomb of the Giants I always find to be a very claustrophobic area. But we should be okay here. I doubt I'll be able to finish the entire area in one episode, but it's possible. Unlikely, but, but certainly possible. Head down here. I don't... I hope there's another bonfire before the next area we go to. Did I aggro that skeleton? Let's take out Mr. Skeleton. Instead of his dog. And then we'll murder his dog. Let's try fire orbs on his dog. Oh god! <laughs> Too close. Helps to have your pyromancy flame out if you want to uh, use pyromancy. Wow, fire orb does almost as much as great chaos fireball. I hate these dogs. I hate these dogs. Okay, good. Might as well Estus up all the way. The reason I hope there's another bonfire is because we're getting very close to the end of our Estus here. Or I'm getting very close to the end of my Estus, I suppose I should say. Take a look around here. Is this where I found the effigy shield? Am I just making uh, loops? Oh no, there's another bonfire. That's awesome. Alright, so we'll light this bonfire. Rest. Might as well kindle it. Get up to... Oh, we gotta kindle it twice to get to plus 15. Damn, I'm really blowing through humanity here. Oh well, I would rather have 15 Estus flasks. Pop this up to 15, we'll have to deal with those skeleton dogs again. Oh well. So we'll come out over here. Might as well just... Ah, Great Chaos Fireball's a little bit more reliable, isn't it? So find them. If nothing else, that allows me to get uh, recharges on my Pyromancy Flames, which is super important. Mr. Skeleton Dog is dead. And just regular Skeleton. Let's just fight him hand to hand. I should be okay. Like, this is the same guy that was in the graveyard at Firelink Shrine. If I can't kill him, then we've got serious problems. Okay. Is this... That doesn't look like a safe place to go down. Where is the down escalator? That looks like I'll fall to my death. What about over here? Can I get over there? See, I told you, I always get lost in this area. Like, I can see ground there, but I don't want to jump. Just in case. I must be missing something here. There we go. Okay, there's a path. Heading down. Okay, soul consumable, I'm guessing. White Titanite chunk, that's awesome. Is that an illusory wall? It kind of looked like an illusory wall. Now we should actually have an NPC invasion pretty soon. Is that three dogs or two dogs? Well, it's going to be N minus one dogs in a second. Uh, and we might as well actually just take this guy out the, the physical way. Because he did get caught in a little bit of the uh, lava from the last attack. I really got to stop taking damage against these guys. You know what? Fuck it. Fire orb. Whatever gets the job done. Really need to upgrade my Estus. I'm noticing that a lot now. And there is a third dog. You can see his shadow right there. Okay, let's uh, let's use Great Chaos Fireball on him. I'm being kind of a, a bitch, basically kind of a pussy with the way I'm tackling Tomb of the Giants. But it's a scary area, man. Starting to get to an area with some more light, which is fantastic. I would love to be able to see. And we've got another item down here. I can't recall what it is, though. Soul of a Brave Warrior. Okay, doing really well on soul consumable items. But again, I basically treat these souls as lost at this point. 67, 68,000 souls is meaningless to me. What am I going to do with that? I'm not going to level up, as I've mentioned in the comments on a couple of videos. 
Uh, I actually want to stay at a low level because it makes my invasions much easier because my host pool is wider. What do we have down here? Any enemies? I can't recall. Oh, you know what? We do have an NPC invasion here, which is going to be fun. So let's head down here. Wait for the NPC invasion, and then after the NPC invasion, I'll cut the episode. Alright, Paladin Leroy. There he is. Paladin Leroy is kind of a, a cool character design. You can see the weapon he's carrying is fucking enormous. Let's hit him with a Great Chaos Fireball. I feel like that's, that's my catchphrase this episode. Let's hit him with a Great Chaos Fireball. Oh, wow, it killed him in one hit. I kind of didn't expect that, actually. So we'll get one humanity, uh, one soft humanity. Two hard humanity and a Grant and a Sanctus, both of which require strength beyond which I can use. Anyway, I'm going to cut the episode short here. Uh, on the next episode, we'll certainly at least try to finish the Tomb of the Giants. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.